The Medtronic Strata MR2 adjustable pressure valve is used for the treatment of hydrocephalus. It provides continuous CSF flow while enabling the physician to non-invasively adjust valve opening pressure and performance level pre and post implantation by using magnetic adjustment tools. The Medtronic Strata MR2 valve is specifically designed to maintain its performance level setting even under MRI exposure when scanned in accordance with the MR conditions and the instructions for use. As shown by the performance level chart, the Medtronic Strata MR2 valve has five performance level settings or pressure settings ranging from performance level 0.5 to performance level 2.5. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate correct post-operative adjustment of the Medtronic Strata MR2 valve, to point out potential adjustment inaccuracies, and to ensure correct alignment and centering of the locator tool. Known adjustment inaccuracies can affect the accurate reading and adjustment of the valve. The Strata MR2 valve comes in two sizes, the Strata MR2 regular or the Strata MR2 small. Both valves have the exact same mechanism design. The Strata MR2 valve is designed with five pressure setting wells separated by raised MRI resistance walls. These walls are designed to help maintain the performance level setting during MRI imaging. The magnetic rotor inside the Strata MR2 valve mechanism is shaped with a foot-like extension called the MRI resistance key. With correct alignment, the adjustment tool magnet lifts the rotor within the valve mechanism and sets the MRI resistance key into the desired pressure setting well, located between the MRI resistance walls. Note the MRI resistance key must be seated within a well to achieve the intended performance level setting. The following segment shows the procedure for post-operative valve adjustment as detailed in the instructions for use. The Strata MR2 adjustable valve system includes an adjustment tool set, which consists of an adjustment tool, an indicator tool, a locator tool, and a guider tool. These tools provide a non-invasive means of adjusting and confirming the valve setting. Begin by positioning the patient away from large metal objects. The patient may be in the upright or supine position. Palpate the valve implantation site to determine the location of the valve in valve reservoir. The magnetic valve mechanism is directly downstream of the valve reservoir. Position the locator tool over the valve so that the red flow direction arrow is aligned with the direction of CSF flow through the valve and is centered over the valve mechanism. Note, maintain alignment of the locator tool throughout the adjustment procedure. Verify that the alignment zone marker of the locator tool, the two parallel blue lines, is centered over the hard plastic valve mechanism, not the reservoir dome. Correct alignment and centering of the locator tool is extremely important. This example shows good alignment and centering of the locator tool and valve mechanism. This example shows poor alignment, but good centering of the locator tool and valve mechanism. These examples show a good alignment, but poor centering of the locator tool and valve mechanism. Set the indicator tool into the locator tool while aligning the red flow directional arrows on the tools. The indicator tool pointer will now point to the valve's current performance level setting. Ensure that the adjustment tool is at least 76 centimeters or 30 inches away from the valve to avoid influencing the readings. Carefully keeping the locator tool in position, remove the indicator tool. Warning. The indicator tool may give false performance level setting readings unless it is aligned with the direction of CSF flow and centered over the magnetic valve mechanism. For performance level adjustment, position the adjustment tool 15 centimeters or 6 inches above the locator tool. Align the triangular mark on the adjustment tool with the current performance level setting. 
lower the adjustment tool straight into the locator tool until it sits flush. Hold the locator tool and rotate the adjustment tool until the triangular mark points to the desired performance level setting. Withdraw the adjustment tool straight up while keeping the locator tool in position over the valve. Caution! Maintain alignment of the adjustment tool with the valve setting when the distance between the tool and the valve is less than 15 centimeters or 6 inches. Otherwise, an inadvertent change in performance level setting may occur. To use the guider tool, place the adjustment tool on the top of the guider tool seated on the left well of the case. Rotate the adjustment tool counterclockwise in the foam cutout and lift. The guider tool will now be attached to the adjustment tool. Position the adjustment tool with the attached guider tool 15 centimeters or 6 inches above the locator tool. Align the arrow of the adjustment tool with the intended performance level setting. Insert the adjustment tool with the attached guider tool into the locator tool until fully seated. Turn the adjustment tool clockwise for two clicks. Return the adjustment tool to its original position by turning counterclockwise for two clicks. Note, this step ensures that the MRI resistance key does not rest on the MRI resistance wall. Return the guider tool, still attached to the adjustment tool, into the left well of the case, aligning the handle with the foam cutout. Rotate the adjustment tool clockwise until the guider tool locks and the adjustment tool can be removed. Immediately, return the adjustment tool to the right well of the case, avoiding metallic components of the case, such as hinges and latch. Aligning the red arrows, place the indicator tool into the locator tool. The indicator tool pointer will now point to the valve's performance level setting. The blue bands indicate the performance level tolerance range. If the indicator tool points to a white band, the desired performance level setting may not have been achieved. Note, more than one attempt may be required to read or adjust the visual setting. Repeat all steps if the reading or adjustments is not the intended setting. Refer to the Table 1 troubleshooting topic in the Strata MR Adjustment Tools instructions for use. Incorrect alignment and centering of the locator tool may cause the MRI resistance key to inadvertently be placed on top of one of the MRI resistance walls instead of in one of the pressure setting wells. This, in turn, causes the rotor to sit too high in the valve mechanism, inhibiting CSF flow through the valve and resulting in a higher than intended flow resistance that can lead to patient complications. When the Strata MR2 valve is set incorrectly with the MRI resistance key on a wall, pressure flow performance, approximately twice the level above the Strata MR2 valve's highest performance level setting of PL2.5 can occur. This equates to a level of approximately 300 millimeters of water and can lead to cerebrospinal fluid, CSF, under drainage. This condition may result in the following adverse health consequences, headaches, nausea, vomiting, and lethargy. If left untreated, under drainage has the potential to lead to coma and death. To prevent this condition, it is required that you correctly position the locator tool over the valve following the procedures described in the Strata MR Adjustment Tools instructions for use. As an alternative, Radiographic imaging may be used to determine the performance level setting of the valve and to check whether the valve is adjusted correctly. Medtronic Strata MR2 valves have a radio fake code that includes a flow direction arrow and a solid bar for X-ray orientation and a dot at the proximal end of the valve for valve identification. Note that the magnet has a center hole, but its shape is not symmetrical. It has a pointed end and a notched end. The Strata MR2 system includes an X-ray template to help ensure correct adjustment. Just slide the template over the radiographic image. 
center it on the magnetic center hole and line the arrow up to the flow direction guides. If the pointed end of the magnet is pointing to the correct performance level within the gray area, the magnet is set in the correct position. In this example, the magnet is correctly set to the 2.0 performance level. This example shows the magnet adjusted to an incorrect position. Note that when using the X-ray template, you can see that the pointed end of the magnet is pointing into the clear area. This means that the MRI resistance key is likely sitting on top of an MRI resistance wall. If this happens, repeat the valve adjustment procedure described earlier. Medtronic is dedicated to being a trusted partner in innovative therapies for treating hydrocephalus. For more information, visit www.medtronic.com forward slash ready, set, go.